Hello there guys and welcome to my FIFA 17 demo impressions video. I know everybody and their nan are doing these videos at the moment but I want to give my opinions and my first impressions so that's what we'll be doing in this video. I have some positives, I have some negatives and I'll give you my conclusion at the end of the video as well. So let's just jump right into it with the positives that I have so far. Now the layout, the new look of the game for me is very nice. So it's just basically a reskinned recolored version of last year but it does look nice it's really nice and sharp the only thing i would say about it is in a few weeks after like release it's not going to be that big of a deal and no one's even going to notice like or think that it's new or whatever it's just going to be you know fifa so at the moment yes it looks nice and yes i imagine the full game is going to look very nice in the layout like i said in a few weeks it might not even be anything Another thing that's new is the new animations, and by this I mean players walking out of the tunnel um, when they're lining up and the huddles and things like that. Now, I hope every team doesn't do the huddle because what I'm seeing at the minute is literally everybody is doing the huddle at the start of games, and that's not like true to life. Not every team gets into a huddle and does a team speech, so I hope that that's not a thing that um, every team does. But uh, yeah, it's nice to see that they've got different things in, and hopefully there's more variety um, to the animations. One little thing that I've noticed as well is the announcer in the stadiums. It's different and it's really authentic and really nice to actually hear for once. Like normally it's just the announcer's voice saying like two minutes added on. But I've noticed it's different this year and it's really pleasing for me. Just a small detail but it just adds a nice touch to the game. The next thing is the through balls. Now through balls this year have been overhauled. You can now do the, the threaded through ball, which I haven't tried out too much, but I know it's in the game. And one thing that I've noticed is the over the top through balls are actually working this year. Like last year, over the top through balls, they always trickled out for a goal kick or into the goalkeeper's arms. This year though, if you hit someone into the channel, it will occasionally work. You've got someone who can pass the ball and you've got someone with a bit of speed down the wings. It's going to work. It means you can play that way, which is a lot better to see. And it's not going to work every time, it's, but it, it might get cut out once in a while. It may just run out once in a while, but I've noticed that you can do it more, more often than not in this game that I've seen so far. The over-the-top through balls are back. Shooting has had a complete overhaul as well and the low shot is in this year if you hold and then tap the button you can drive a low shot and long shots are really overpowered I think I've seen a lot of long shots in the back of the net and if you can create that little bit of room distance yourself from a defender and hit one you're really going to be troubling goalkeepers and scoring goals. As far as one on ones go I haven't been able to get in behind too often to actually try a one on one with the goalkeeper. Um, the pace in the game isn't really too overpowered. The defenders can stay with you and things like that. But one-on-ones, like I said, I haven't really tried them. I think I missed one of the one-on-ones or the goalkeeper saved uh, one of the one-on-ones that I have had. And um, I can't really give my opinion on that at the minute. Another really positive thing that I've seen so far is the new physicality to the game. It just it looks a lot better. If you've taken a corner or something like that, it just looks so much better. Um, with the players jostling in the box and grabbing hold of each other and stuff like that it just it's actually more realistic than just stood next to each other and then when they jump just raise their arms at each other they're actually jostling in there and it just looks so much better okay so we'll move on to the negatives now there's no fake tackle in the game if you remember last season they actually added in this fake tackle where you can press a and you actually don't put a challenge in but you just sort of uh, lunge towards them and step out again Player turning is really dodgy for me. It's, it feels a bit slower than normal, um, especially if you run down the wing and try to just sort of cut back to put a cross in. The players just seem to take ages to turn around, and I guess they've done that to sort of nerf that because it was pretty OP on FIFA 16. If you get down the wing, cut back, and you can actually drive inside pretty easily. Um, and these are the top players in the game. Like You can go down the wing with Bale or Ronaldo, try and turn back and put a cross in. It takes them a little while and slows down the attack. So um, that's a negative for me, players turning. I've also had a few dodgy decisions, and that's an understatement to say the least. One of them was um, I managed to hit one. That we should. It was going in. It was almost like an open goal. The goalkeeper, who is... Um, the goalkeeper is sometimes OP in this. Um... But yeah, I hit one goalwards, and uh, the goalkeeper just threw up an arm and saved it. And it, it was definitely a corner. I went back on the replay, looked, and it was definitely a corner. But the referee, for some reason, had given a goal kick. And I was like, what? That's that's definitely a corner. 
Um, another one I had where I was running down the line, I think it was with uh, Azpilicueta, and uh, a tackle come in, completely took him out, but the referee gave a goal kick, and I was like, well, that's a definite, um, a definite free kick. If it's not a free kick, it's a corner, because he must have touched the ball, but he didn't touch the ball. It was a definite foul, and the referee didn't give it. Another negative could be the lack of urgency sometimes when the ball is in the box. I've seen it a few times. It was definitely about with FIFA 16. And again, it looks like it's going to be the same in FIFA 17. If the ball gets knocked into the area and the defender sort of heads it away, but not away, if you know what I mean, just sort of down and not really clear of the danger, players don't seem to react quick enough to, you know, how a player would if the ball was in the box. Like, in that sort of area, you want a bit of urgency from your players to be reacting and uh, being sharp in there, but they all just seem to, a couple of times I've seen them just standing around and uh, not reacting when the ball was, like, two yards away from them. So it's, it's frustrating and takes the realism out of it, and uh, that's another negative for me. Overall, though, I think the game so far is very good. The demo, even though it's just a demo, is pretty good. There's still a few buggy things in there. Um, I had a replay earlier with an invisible player. Gareth Bale took a penalty to win the game and he wasn't in the replay. So that's uh, that's an issue. But overall, I think FIFA 17 is going to be a good game for release. And uh, if they just fix a few things, tweak a few things, it's going to be um, just a brilliant game to play. But that's going to do it for my first impressions video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you leave a like rating. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one very soon.